just want to walk you through a short video on how we use checklists in checklist format to keep track of setting up information, uh, setting up projects, making punch lists. In this case, we're going to make this demonstration about how we set up an off-site setup checklist you know, while we're planning a project, but certainly this format works for any place a contractor needs to track information you know, and update progress pretty simply. So I built a simple little table here in, in Word. So I've got an area up top, I can add some titles and form fields to kind of describe what this document is. And then down below, I've set up a few different columns. I'm gonna show you how I set this up. So you can simply make this in the table tool. You could also make this kind of format in Excel. So I'm gonna give this setup, uh, offsite setup checklist of title. So offsite setup checklist, spell correctly, it'd be helpful. So, you know, certainly the most, you know, largest font on a page, you know, is you want the title. And that really helps for hierarchy of information. So I know very clearly this is offsite setup. You know, knowing maybe what the company name is, maybe that's something that we think is, is helpful. Um, certainly maybe an area where I list the site lead. And, you know, maybe that's myself. Uh, probably the project, you know, and that could be um, a site address you want to list. And certainly the date are probably good things to uh, to set up here. So I could fill that out, you know, GBC builders. And it'll be me. Okay, and I can have project and date. Now for actual checklist pull format, you know, I find a sort of three column layout kind of works where you have, you know, the description or, you know, that could be the, you know, activity that you want to, you know, monitor the status of. We want somewhere to check off and then probably somewhere to make, you know, notes or comments. So this sort of format works for me. Now I've added three ways to check off here. So I kind of like this format where maybe, you know, the most basic is you write a C for complete. That's just a checkbox. I might want to say, you have a medium which is like not satisfactory. It's been done, but it's really not to my liking or my, my preference. And then up top, I'm just gonna write what C equals. C is complete. Um, NS is gonna stand for not satisfactory. And then finally, NA will be for not applicable. All right, perfect. Okay, so that kind of defines what C, N, S, and enable mean for me. Now from activities, I really start because this is an offsite setup checklist, I wanna review what my requirements are. So let's just plunk some down. We'll kind of see how this is working for us. So, you know, I might have, actually at first, let's set up a category. If we simply list all of our activities in one shot, it might be hard to find things we're looking for in a big list of 30 things. So let's set up some subheadings. Let's say that I'm going to have some offsite setup, right? Sort of activities. Uh, let's just arbitrarily midway down, we'll say this will be on site setup. Okay, and I can keep that consistent with my uppercase, lowercase. Um, in this case, I'll just set this center of the the page and to make these two stand out, I'm gonna actually use a border shading. I'm gonna shade this background a little bit. So make this a lighter color. So same thing there. And I'm gonna just put this text to black just so it's easier to read here for us. Let's just make that black. And we'll make this one the same font. So we'll make it bold. And we'll also make that area. I'll just think things are consistent for us. We'll bold that and I'll just go back to my table design and I can drop in that shading. So now I have kind of two subheadings. So that's kind of working for me as far as areas. And then simply below that, I'm gonna write in what my activities are. So I'll just make sure I'm writing an aerial, just things are consistent. So maybe my first thing might be, you know, notice of project. And you know, one thing that's helpful in when you're doing checklists is leave yourself reminders. So if you kind of are trying to learn some of the basics of these things, 
yeah, notice your project is any project more than fifty thousand dollars. So I'll just put plus fifty. And if I have a small bathroom, you know, I don't check it off. It's NA. And if I do, then I check off complete when I'm done that. I might want to write in things like my, you know, my DSS report complete. You know, all this stuff can come in here so that I can simply remember, um, you know, what what I have to do. So that's how we use a checklist. So for an offsite setup checklist, you know, set up subheadings, maybe offsite setup, on-site things, you know, have you printed your posters, etc. cetera. Um, even getting into, you know, TBZ requirements, uh, COVID-19 protocols would be a great thing to look at. You know, whether you've ordered or set up your hand washing station, ordered sanitizer, those kind of things would be smart to think about. So certainly checklists are a great thing to do. You can build your own template in Word or Excel. Also, I mean, you can look up probably templates for checklists um, online and download them and then modify them to fit your needs. So that's a simple demonstration. Basically, title, clearly address what site it's for, and then work with some kind of three-column layout where you're describing activities on one side, checking off status of completion, and then you have an error for notes to say maybe why they're not satisfactory or why they're not applicable. Okay, good luck.